for this week's In Focus. One man's junk is another man's treasure. And that saying stands true for many vendors present at the fourth annual Old Depot Junction in Brainerd. Our Chelsea Brown tells us more. We take for granted that we know how to do this stuff and put things together. And when people come, they go, I would have never thought of that. Who would have thought you could use an old chicken feeder for a display for plates? A repurposed chicken feeder was one of the many items that lured shoppers into the Northern Pacific Center, where over 50 vendors were showing off some of their handmade items. This is an old book binder press that I converted into an industrial workstation with a two-inch oak top, all rough cut. Repurposed this 100-year-old chair. We put uh, cowhide on the sides of it, restructure it, um, and it's made with linen and a bunch of old tacks. What these vendors pride themselves in is finding a purpose for something most would consider time to toss. I use anything that I find. I mix everything, I alter everything. So nothing stays the same. I mean, even I have seashells and old bottles that I've done. I like to work with a lot of chain, um, both small and large, and then mix that with like beaded rosary parts, uh, mixed metals. We pick and try to find unique items to uh, restore something that maybe was tired and needed some restoring and put some life into it by adding uh, maybe a fun paint job. Uh, we've been in the painting business uh, for over 30 years and so we'll distress and do different things to the finishes and then add these reclaimed wood tops to them. They believe that the hunt for these pieces of treasure drive their passion to create. You know, if you ask anybody, most people that are in this room today, you know, why do you do it? Is it for the hunt or is it for the money you make? It's for the hunt. You know, we love the hunt. Vendors traveled from Iowa, North Dakota, South Dakota, the Twin Cities, and surrounding Minnesota cities, all to share their love for the transformation of junk into art. Between the prices and just the quality and uniqueness, I think that's the biggest thing. There's nothing in here that anybody needs. It's all a want. On this week's In Focus, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.